you encourage them, they walk away encouraged because you reached down in your spirit and took some of your stuff. Say it with me, I've got what it takes. I have a dream. What you're going through right now is a discovery moment. It is a discovery moment. The stage you're at, the age you're at, the burdens you bear, the crosses you carry, these are discovery moments. Not moments where you discover how bad life is, but rather how strongly you have been created. I was in the jungles of South Africa and I was on a safari and my guide told me, he said, in mating seasons, the males fight. The younger male lions fight for the right to breed with the lioness. I said, wow, I said, that's kind of like us. <laughs> he said, no. He said, it's God's way of not allowing weakness to reproduce. <clears throat> he said, the fight is designed to kill the weak parts of the herd so that they do not reproduce their weakness. The strongest lion reproduces so that the next herd is born in strength. Baby, only the strong survive. You can break if you want to. You can turn around and give up if you please. But God said, I'm not going to put my fruit in somebody who quits. God says, I'm not going to pour my investment in somebody who walks away. But the last man left standing. God said, I'm going to pour that into you. I have learned that even in my own life, experience kills off the weaknesses. <laughs> Your childishness begins to die. Your fear begins to leave. You look at things now that you would have been all upset about 10 years ago. And you say, oh, it'll be all right. All right, don't worry about it. Don't, it's not that serious. Because that foolish part of you died in the last fight. That silly part of you died on the last battlefield.